want to know what the best teams are in Apex Legends Season 5? I'm going to share the top three in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, Warriors. I'm Warlug, and if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to improve your gameplay, get more kills, and other Apex Legends related tips, then start now by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. Okay, today I'm gonna to share with you the top three team combinations in Apex Legends Season 5. Now these teams are not gonna be in any particular order, so if you're one of those guys that's like, oh, team one is not, you know, not team one, team three is better than team one, just don't be that guy. All three teams are great teams, and at the end, I'm going to share a legend who has made a huge impact in Season 5 and can be subbed into any one of these teams. So to get a better understanding of why these teams are considered the best in Apex, we had to pull a lot of information from the following criteria that I used in my Apex Legends tier list. The link is above, guys, if you want to see where legends are ranked in Season 5, which is loadout, team compatibility, and the map adaptability. Then I said, well, that's not enough. So we gathered more information from the teams the pros used throughout the ALGS and the finals for Apex Legends. With all of the data collected, it revealed that these are the top three best teams in Apex Legends. Team one, Wraith, Pathfinder, and Watson. Team two is Wraith, Gibby, and Watson. Team three is Wraith, Gibby, and Pathfinder. The reason these three team comps are so good is because of how well-rounded the teams are in every aspect of the game. I mean, let's look at the legends in these teams. Wraith. I mean, come on, guys. She's in every team. Why? Because Wraith has the smallest hitbox in the game. She has the ability to scout teams and retreat with her phase ability if she starts to get shot is absolutely amazing. Her portal not only can reposition your team to a better location, but get down teammates to a safe place for a res if they go down. Wraith is a key part of any successful and competitive team since the beginning of Apex. Pathfinder, what can I say about the mobile droid, has two key advantages to him over every other legend and that's the zip line and access to the zone beacons. His ability to zip line your team into some of the best positions in the game and most importantly, the high ground is the reason why Pathfinder is so good. But probably the best part about him is the information he can get your team on upcoming zones with the beacons. So your team can rotate and rotate early to get into the best possible position to win. Now, even with his 35 second cooldown on his grapple, Pathfinder is still the best mobile legend you can have on your team. On to Watson. This beautiful Swedish defender has been in the competitive scenes since making a splash in Season 2. Her fences provide valuable defense and showcases like, hey, my team's right here, guys, and we're set up. Go ahead and try to come fight us. It is a double-edged sword. While some like to be hidden, you know, baiting out enemies, some, this is going to know where you are. This lets the team know that, hey, there's somebody here, there's a team here, and they can't go there. Her ultimate is still one of the best in the game. Taking a small hit with the reduced carry amount of grenades, but still, the shield charge and the blocking of ultimates is still amazing on any team to have. Last but not least is Gibby. The big man, what can I say? Since season 4, the buffs he has received with using meds 25% faster and resing faster than lifeline all under his dome make Gibby a do-it-all legend. Sure, his dome shield was reduced to 12 seconds instead of 18, but there has been little to no difference as far as the 6 seconds go in gameplay. His ultimate, the bombardment, is by far one of the best in the game, especially during the last few zones. Moving a team off of high ground, covering an area of the zone a team is going to go, I mean, bombardment does it all. Gibby's is Apex's powerhouse legend. Now, did I say I was going to share a legend who has made an impact, and that legend is Caustic. Caustic at the start of Season 5 received a huge buff with his gas no longer hindering your teammates' movement, which means that they can move th freely through his gas. This is crazy. Enemy gas still works the same, though, slowing movement and dealing damage, but there is still the fog to the vision of allies, so think of it like bang smoke. You can move free, but it is hard to see in it. Because of this, we've seen a shift in the meta, and more teams are starting to use Caustic in their lineup. So Caustic could be subbed in for Gibby, Path, or Watson. The logical choice would be Watson since they both kind of play a defensive role with a few differences. But again, it all depends on your team's playstyle and what you want to accomplish in a given game. 
Do you want to rotate early and have information? Do you want pure defense and a shield charge? Or do you want a little more offense with a big ultimate and mobility? It all depends on what you want to do. These teams have been dominant for a few seasons now, and what can I say? The ALGS Pro Circuit hasn't changed much with these teams in the mix. Now, of course, guys, I don't want to leave out other legends. Some players like to have teams of Octane, Mirage, and Crypto, and that's okay. It may work in public lobbies. Now, for the sake of this video, these are the best teams used for high-level play and victories. And let's be honest, you can use any legend in pubs and have fun. These teams work so well together because of how they complement one another in any situation from defense to offense and mobility, which is probably the most important thing in the game. And the hard truth about it all, guys, is that other team comps just don't do what these teams do. Offensively, you have one of the best ultimates in the game, the smallest hitboxes so you don't go down, and the ability to push any fight at any distance. Defensively, Arguably the best defensive ultimate in the game combined with fences to hold off enemies and a giant dome shield to protect your team from incoming fire. I mean, come on guys, if that's not enough, they have the best retreat portal the game has to offer. And then if you look at just the mobility side, guys, do I even have to say it? Between a zip line to any point in the game and a portal to prevent your team from taking damage, there isn't a location in Apex on either map king's canyon or world's edge that would stop these teams from getting to with all of this said guys these teams are tough to use in their entirety learning how to play the legends on these teams is the hardest part and finding players to play with is even harder not only that you need to build chemistry with those other players and this is the most important part knowing what each of these legends abilities do will help you out especially in those tough crazy situations towards the end of the game let me give you an example. Knowing what Gibby's ultimate does, bombardment, and it's probably not smart to fight inside, let's say, bunker, for example. Get what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, once you begin to master one of these five legends and find a team that you've built real chemistry with and trust those players, the teams in this list will have you winning more games than ever before. All right, guys, I hope this video has helped you out in considering which legends to use on your team. And if you have any questions about today's video, I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Twitch. The link is going to be down in the description below. Let me know down in the comments which legends you like to use on your team. If you have a three stack or if you're solo queuing, which legends do you like to use? And if you want more tips on how to improve your gameplay in Apex Legends, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on anything. And as for me, Warlug, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.